down in Cape Town, the parliament is meeting in South Africa. They have now uh, formally elected uh, Cyril Ramaphosa as the interim president of South Africa. He will have that position until elections are held in 2019. And one of his jobs, of course, will be trying to pull together the ANC, the ruling uh, party, which has really been badly fractured, uh, in pushing out Jacob Zuma, who'd been there for nine years. So once again, Cyril Ramaphosa now is the interim president of South Africa. And we're seeing live images now from parliament in Cape Town, South Africa. And if you take a look at, say, the currency market, David, uh, a dollar czar, it is off the lows of the session, but nonetheless, uh, today it was around the lowest we've seen since 2015. It seems like one of the big issues, too, or what are the rating agencies going to be doing? Yeah. Moody's in particular said that they were closely monitoring developments in South Africa um, within the change of leadership. So do we get some kind of upgrade or better outlook uh, for the country? And what does that wind up doing for investment well, flows? And Cyril Ramaphosa has been perceived as being more pro-business, more of a responsible manager of the economy. And, of course, he was ironically the choice of Nelson Mandela. He wanted him to run the country, and it didn't come to pass. But generally, I think the business community thinks Cyril Ramaphosa will not only clean up corruption, but also be more pro-business, pro-economic growth. And I know that Ahmad is most bullish on South Africa of all emerging markets, but I also just have to wonder at what point, how long do investors give South Africa yes. or headlines until they say, wait a second, this is a bigger if issue than just get getting J Jacob Zuma out of office. Exactly. How many times do we think we just replace one person will fix everything? It doesn't fix everything. There's a lot of hard work to be done down in South Africa, South Africa without a doubt.